Okay, I suppose you guys want to see some lights now. All right, so I just got the shell sitting on there. Let's see how they look so far. Got some interior lights. And yeah, we're in DC. So let's turn up some voltage. All right, so. Not too bad. Let's take a look under the hood here and see what we got. So what we got here is we've got these yellow SMDs. Those are the interior cab lights. We got a spotlight back here. That's going to be a special deal. And then we got them on the other side too, which if you look in the mirror, you can see in the mirror on the other side that all the lights are working. Then if we go ahead and turn it, right somewhere right here there oops and of course it's not balanced yet but i got that's the off switch basically yep got it. those rp25 wheels okay that's the off switch if i turn it back and keep it on the track and turn back on it'll be easier when i don't have that is the only weight in the cab back there. It's, it's kind of heavy. But, so, let's take a look here. This is in DC right here. Not a lot of flickering, right? A tiny bit, but mostly. If the track was dirty or these wheels didn't pick up, you'd see some flickering. But it's actually really good. Okay, let's turn on some lights here and get a close up. All right, let's get a close up of what we got so you can see. Okay. Okay. So, what we've got. Remember underneath, we've got that plate, the copper circle, and we've got a cutout going diagonally so that when we turn it, it goes off. And if we turn around, it's auto-reversing polarity, for, which, which is what you need in, in DC. But even still, we've got the bridge rectifier here. Right there, so it works in DC or DCC. Well, in DCC is... You will have to rotate it to off for it to actually be off. Otherwise, it'll be on all the time. Just no problem. That's why we made it in an off position. Okay, so what we did, we brought our two wires through the sides. They go down to the wipers. Through the sides, for direct fire, to a little PC board. A little copper clad PC board, two strips soldered. And then we made. What we did is we used some, some of this Hildy and Joe copper jewelry wire, 24 gauge. And so when we're working on locomotives, I don't really get to use this wire much for doing this kind of fun stuff. So I, I kind of like wiring with it and I'll show you why. Okay, so from the rectifier, we've got the red rail. I'm, I'm counting this end when the cab is facing this way, this is going to be, we're going to call that front. So that the boom will be the back side. Just for the purposes of red rail, black rail. Okay, so it comes in. So this tells me which direction to go with the wiring. So I take some of this copper wire and I bend it. And I bend it into shape. Hold the shape. A little super glue here and there. Bend it. Attach an SMD, attach another piece of wire, and drop glue, SMD down, resistor, bends around the back side and up to PC board. On the other side, there's a little copper piece of wire there. Goes down, you see, comes around on the floor in the back, down along, up, then it goes, it goes up to the SMD, out the SMD, 
out the SMD to the resistor back there. Then the spotlight, this is the interior spotlight, is wire, copper wire, copper wire up to the SMD, out the SMD, into the resistor, out the resistor, into the black wire. That's it. Now, so this this one on the back here is way bigger, and it's it's a it is a soft white, and these are all interiors are yellows. So that big one will be in here. And when this is complete, that light's going to shine down this trough. When this is set down, there get windows in and stuff. It's going to shine down on the trough and kind of out the front end for a cool effect, and then. It's, uh, it will not really shine out too much out of the windows. That's why we got the yellow ones. We got a front and a back. And they will shine to the outside. Well, they will shine, light up the inside of the cabin. It's really cool. Then I'm thinking we'll put a spotlight here and a spotlight there. It'll be that same. It'll be this same setup with this same one. Except on the outside, they're going to be really bright. And they will shine this way down along the boom. And that should be pretty cool. And, and we're not trying to make a prototype crane here. We're trying to make a cool crane. We're trying to make a fun crane. And have fun with this wire. The cool thing about using this wire is you can bend it into shapes and it stays. That means you can bend it around and put those SMDs. The tricky part of the SMDs is figuring out all these are unmarked. So you got to kind of look for other signs of which side is the inside which side is the outside because they don't have a green mark that tells you the negative side but these have a notch this one just has a wider space and you can get you can figure it out it ain't too bad and then we'll figure out something boom's going to go in here and we're going to cable this up and and so we've got two drums that go here for the cabling and we fixed up some of our stuff what we don't have yet is this piece here that was missing so we'll have to scratch build something further up so we'll make something really cool and then this is supposed to be not a steam crane so I took off the steam stack we're going to put some other exhaust on there some diesel exhaust this will be a diesel crane otherwise it's pretty, turn out pretty good it could be pretty nice. DC or DCC. It won't make any difference. 